All right, another installment for a flat earth evidence. This is actually, to me, the most practical evidence that we need, have, or should ever require to anyone who is really thinking for themselves. This is the uh, Azimuth uh, equidistant projection. And of course, a lot of flat earthers are familiar with this. This is used by the USGS, the uh, United States Geological Survey. These are the people who survey the land for buildings and projects. Anything basically that goes on land, underwater even. So when it comes to the USGS, they have to have everything accurately described on the map before they can build on it. Um, and of course they use what is formally called a projection, but what we know to be the actual plane map of the earth, at least as far as its shape and um, the fact that it's a plane. Now, some people can argue the uh, continents and everything may be off, but the point is they know we're on a plane. Why? Because these guys who survey with this leveling tool, which actually points straight, it doesn't curve, they use something called plane surveying. This is what they always use. Plane surveying is the survey in which the Earth's surface is assumed to be plane and the curvature of the Earth is ignored. This is the key. Is ignored. Now, if the curvature of the Earth was real, it would be impossible to ignore it, first of all. We're not going to stop there, though, because I know a lot of people can still come up with some reasons. The plane surveys extend only over small areas and the lines connecting any two points on the surface of the earth are treated as straight lines and the angles between such lines are taken as plane angles. Let's go further. Plane surveys are used for the layout of highways, railroads, canals, fixing boundary pillars, construction of bridges, factories, etc. The scope and use of plane surveys is very wide. For the majority of engineering projects, the plane surveying is the first step to execute them. Highways, railways, canals, fixing boundary pillars, construction of bridges, factories. That's everything. Bridges? Come on. Highways. Plain surveying. Which means we don't account for this curvature of the earth. Now, I know some people may have been gotten into this. What about geodetic surveying? Let's look up geodetic surveying and see what it's about. Geodetic surveying is the survey in which the curvature of the Earth is taken into account and a higher degree of accuracy in linear and angular observations is observed or achieved. They extend over large areas, connecting any two points on the surface of the Earth treated as arcs. Interesting. Now let's look a little further. Geodetic surveys are conducted with highest degree of accuracy to provide widely spaced control points on Earth's surface for subsequent plane surveys. Now wait a minute. <laughs> If if the Earth was a, a globe, geodetic surveying was supposed to be this, uh, you know, to account for this. Why do they still go back to uh, subsequent plane surveys? Because I know, and what I really think to be true is, this is an insertion from the hidden hand, the powers that be. This whole false geodetic surveying lie. So let's go check Wikipedia. And they actually don't, they don't have an entry for plane surveying or geodetic surveying alone it's just found under surveying so it's kind of hidden here which is actually weird but it says based on the considerations in true shape of the earth surveying is broadly classified into two types it's, it doesn't make sense plain surveying assumes the earth is flat curvature and spheroidal shape of the earth is neglected in this type of surveying all triangles formed by joining survey lines are considered as plain triangles it is employed for small survey works where errors due to the Earth's shape are too small to matter. Right. Now, in geodetic surveying, coverage of the Earth is taken into account while calculating reduced levels, angles, bearings, and distances. Uh, whatever. This type of surveying is only employed for large survey works. Generally, the survey works below 260 kilometer radius are treated as plain and beyond that is treated as geodetic. Here's the key sentence. Survey works below 260 kilometers radius are treated as plain. What is a 260 kilometer radius? Well, here's a radius here. 
and we cannot zoom in to see that's a radius 260 kilometers so now let's see 260 kilometers that's 161 miles radius so within this length we can use plane surveying curious now if the earth was a sphere how could we possibly use plane surveying which ignores the curvature of the earth ignores the curvature of the earth how can we lose use plane surveying in this distance 161 mile radius which actually would equate to 323 miles in diameter so you can use a 323 mile diameter survey and you can just use plane surveying for that area this doesn't make sense if we're on a sphere using spherical geometry the uh, math works out to 8 inches times each mile squared now when we do that math we would get a as far as the, the radius we would get 3.27 mile curve on a sphere which means we couldn't be able to use plane surveying because we would get a 3.27 mile curve I would say drop, but this just doesn't make any sense anyway, because if it's a, it would have to be a drop from the point of view of being on top of the ball. This is where the, this globe just makes no sense. It's, it's, I just feel even stupid trying to explain this. This makes no sense. It's not a drop. It would have to be a curve. But then again, <laughs> could you imagine this? Now, over the diameter, it would be 6.52 curves. So 6.52 mile curve. That's a pretty steep curve or whatever you want to call it. Um... How could you possibly use plane surveying on a distance that wide? This is the point. It doesn't make sense because it's flat. <laughs> you don't have to use uh, geodetic surveying. Um, it's false. It's not used. They use plane surveying and they use this tool here, which is a level tool. And this is really just a quick proof. Um, it's nothing too complicated. I don't see any way to debunk this proof. I just figure out I'll go through it real quick. I just extrapolate on it because it's always brought up. Peace.